Well, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Divinity Original Sin 2. Uh, we're going to go into the Shrieker uh, Ruins, I guess? What this is actually called. Hollow Marsh's Ruin Castle. But there's a guy freaking out there's up here. There's a bear! There's a bear over here! A young man I want to save the bear! two fresh gashes across his eyes and face. His fingertips hesitate over his closed eyelids. He's being blinded. At your approach, he spins to face you and readies his shield. Stop! Stop! Who, who goes there? Escaped! Hold still! I need to. I need to apprehend you. <laughs> <laughs> he sidles blindly beside the cart, groping his way toward you. I I, I can't let you go. It's my job. It's He's why dedicated. I'm here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't you understand? You're so dangerous. It isn't your fault, but you are. If you leave this place, you could bring a void woken on your head at any time. He continues to grope toward you, his sword clenched tightly in his hand. He opens his eyes a fraction of an inch and winces, stumbling over a rock stuck in the mud. <laughs> No! No! Don't try anything! Do you hear? Ask him what happened. He got hit by the bear. Un undead! They overturned the cart, dragged us out. They. They wanted to rip us apart. We beat them back, but. But they got Faray through the heart, got me across the face. Landon went back to the fort to bring help. I have a job here. I might be injured, <laughs> but I'm still a good guard. Now, uh, hold still. He pulls a pair of shackles out of his bag and holds them out, <laughs> open toward you. <laughs> this is oh, ridiculous. You can hold still and hold out Dangerous. <laughs> you hear? I need to protect people. I need to protect you. Where are you? Wait, please! Please! Eh, you poor sap. I tried. I tried to help you. <laughs> no. What, did you say no? <laughs> I was like, you didn't really. I tried helping him. You think I could have done a better job of helping him? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe? I offered to heal his wounds and... You're just not a sexy persuasive lizard like me. I mean, burn him down. <laughs> His okay. HP bar, like not like hang him on a cross and burn him. Any of the schools of magic do physical damage? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe Geo? Like rocks and stuff? Yeah, maybe. Um. If I break his armor for. So, yeah, okay, good. Yeah, like if you break his armor with the spell, it usually knocks him down. What is this? Magister's Some sort of journal? He has a letter. I found a journal. Oh, it updates the artifacts quest. 
All right, time to check on the bear. Oh, it's dead! I'm so sad. Should we go tell the kid? I guess. The Shriekers. What was that update? Uh, we Magisters might have been one. stripping Reaper's Eye of the Purging Wand weapons left behind from the time of Brachus Rex. Hopefully they overlooked a few. We'll need them to overcome the Shriekers. Well, great. That dragon just took the one we had. Oh, crap. Freaking dragon. I might still have one. No, I have a drained wand. So that wand we gave to the dragon can kill the Shriekers. Uh, no. It just says they've been stripping the purging wands. Um, it says we need them to overcome the Shriekers. I don't know exactly what that means. So we could purge them from their abilities. Oh, because you can suck their source out. Well, I do have a wand that is like a... What is it called? A drained wand. And it says it's... I think it... I don't know. I don't know if it can suck up source, though. Probably not. Hey, Lauren. What? Maybe we can have lunch. What? Oh! <laughs> I did pick up some bear ribs. <laughs> <laughs> Yum! Bear ribs. Uh, Alright, well... Um, it's a crate at the end of this bridge. I don't know if it's worth teleporting over there for. Um... Most dangerous, one cornered. Well, there's actual people down here. I don't see shriekers. Mm hmm. Can't believe the devil of the so many here. men and Run still away. never got through the last. If you're trying to save your friend here, you're a bigger fool than he is. And you'll meet the same fate. Keep a sharp eye. I'll not pay you some sorcerer of highly to fight for me. Lady it's not worth Well, fine. I'm going to freaking ricochet you in the face and summon fire demon. I guess he's a. Is my little guy immune to fire? I would hope so. Yes. I would think so. I guess asleep, but I guess we can finish him off. Oh, well, it's fine.
surprised the fire didn't wake him up. He's taking a fire nap. Um, do you need level 2 polymorph for those wings? Yep. Hmm. To get any mobility with polymorph 1? The bullhorns. Oh, one health. But, like, you already have Scoundrel 1, don't you? Because you have Adrenaline Rush? Yeah. It might be worth just taking Scoundrel 2, because then you can get Cloak and Dagger, which is just the teleporter. That's Cloak and Dagger. You need a dagger to use it. Oh, you actually need a dagger to use it? Oh. Well, you only need Scoundrel 1 for that. Isn't there another one you get at 2? Like, teleport? Pretty sure I give you a teleport. That's the Cloak and Dagger. No, there's Cloak and Dagger and teleport or something. I'm Not confused. that I have. Okay, maybe it's Backlash that teleports you? I don't know. Oh, yeah, Backlash, but it requires a dagger. Cloak and Dagger requires a dagger too then, right? I'm kind of confused now. They both should. I didn't think it did, but... No, Cloak and Dagger just says teleport without breaking, sneaking, requires Scoundrel 2. Does not require a dagger or anything. Hmm, I could save it and try it out. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, that would be the, definitely the better route for me. Yeah, because it's a decent teleport range. I mean, the wings are a little better because they it's a little easier over elevation and stuff, but it's... I do like Cloak and Dagger as well. Wait, why didn't that knock him down? Uh, just said he, uh, he said something. He resisted knockdown. Burn. What's that sound up top? There's more fighting guys. No, oh, that was not what I meant to do. Why are they fighting a statue up there? See that? They're... Yeah, I don't know what's going on there, but I'd like to get up there before they all die or something. Yeah, I agree. It's your turn. Okay. <laughs> we can come back and loot them. Let's just get up there. Mm-hmm. Oh, our companions are out of range. <laughs> I'm in range, both of mine, I think. Or maybe not. That was weird. I wonder if I can whirlwind all four of these. Oh, snap. <laughs>
Ah. What's his name? Gareth? Mm-hmm. Have we seen him yet? I don't think so. Is he that paladin from the town, maybe? No, that guy had a no, shield. No, it's a different one. I hope there are ways to gain more action points in the future because I don't really like systems that have fixed action points for all characters, you know? Um, yeah, I wish some had more and some had less, and I don't know. But I don't, I doubt there is, to be honest. They, they did that in the first game, and people found so many ways to exploit it, and I think they tried to simplify it. Like, mm -hmm. in the first game, like, I found a way to get ga glass cannon mixed in with, like, infinite speed, and I never had to put a single point into intelligence or something I, I don't know I did something really wonky but essentially like my casters um, they they had action points that filled the entire screen and uh, <laughs> I could literally cast like 17 spells in one turn and just annihilate everybody uh, there's some pretty crazy exploits and like every single character I made just took glass cannon um, just to double my AP and then like I found ways to fix it and it was kind of broken And even then, the game was still freaking hard. But we'll, we'll have to see, because whenever we unlock the source, maybe it's another type of action point, right? Well, yeah, it probably will be, but it'll only be for source skills. You never know, there might be skills that are like, borrow from your source pool. You know. Could be. Uh, who should I shoot? Probably this mage start the back. this target out of line of sight She's like right next to us ah uh, the smoke Oh, he hit you. Uh huh. Crippling blow, probably. Seventeen hundred EXP. Ah! Your courage 
in the face oh, that's of danger a lot of is <laughs> This dude's <laughs> hair and mustache. Mission guided your blows rightly. <laughs> His eyes travel from your face to your feet, then back again. He's You're like clearly Hulk. no magister. Dirty face, Hulk haphazard from Peter Pan. garb. How do you come to be <laughs> yeah. here? Uh... Name's Gareth. I'm a seeker. I can give you shelter. Oh, hope. this is Gareth. Okay. Ah, good. Then you know us. And you know we can help you. And perhaps you can help us. I came looking for a way off the island. Getting out of here means taking a ship. A magister ship. And they're not just going to give us one out of the goodness of their hearts. Aww. I came looking for weapons. Powerful ones. Wicked ones. May Lucian forgive me. Weapons that will clear a path to Dallas's flagship. Gareth looks about, scanning the horizon, then looks back at you. A moment passes. I want that guy's freaking armor. <laughs> Can we just kill him? <laughs> I can't see. I assume you, you probably eat. could try. What did Lucian say? Ah, yes. Evil feasts on the indolent. Get yourself to safety and soon. You'll always have a place at the Seeker's table. I want that armor. Oh, a reward. Um, I should probably finally replace my teleportation gloves, shouldn't I? I just equip them when I need them. They're level two mm -hmm. junk. Um, what else is there? Plus one summoning helmet. But it requires 11 strength. What is this? Madness. <laughs> That's weird. I've seen this a lot. Um, and a staff, but you just got a new one. This one's 16 to 20 poison. I don't think it's much better than yours. So it's either the summoning mask or new gloves. I mean, the gloves... It's the biggest upgrade, considering I'm still wearing the teleportation gloves. I wish I could look in my bag, because I probably have some gloves. Plus one summoning to, um... The fawn would be good, but... I'm gonna have to put one point into strength on the fawn, I think. What do you think? Um, get the gloves if they're a good upgrade. Oh, it requires 11 intelligence. It's 14 magic armor, 3 huh. physical, and 11 HP. What's yours? What's mine on Juby? Yeah. Uh, gloves, right? Yeah. Um, I have some purple ones. I have 19 magic armor, 5 physical. Okay, you're sort of right I was... Okay. Uh, I'm just going to take this helmet then. I mean, it's an upgrade for me temporarily. Um, however, I lose a warfare point. I don't think Ifan can equip these. Uh, I'm gonna have to put a point into strength for him. Seems like it's gonna come in handy. I've seen a lot of things use strength so far. Any loot? Um, nothing really good. I sent a few things to you. Uh, so he said he came looking for weapons. Um, he didn't find any, did he? Didn't sound like it. There's some thievery gloves here. They're oh, pretty nice. darn good. Here, let me send them to you. How about this helmet for Juby? Oh, human torso. Here's lunch. Those thievery gloves take strength, so... Oh, freaking... I could always put just one point strength. Might it's, be worth it. It seems like that's happening a lot. Ugh. We're close to leveling. 74%. Hmm. 
Did he give us a lead to where to go next? I think we're just supposed to go back because he was Gareth, you know, the leader of the Seekers. Right, so, so we, we just, just go, can go back and. There's a waypoint place here. Do we have to be at it to teleport, or do a we just teleport from the map? Yeah, we could teleport from the sanctuary to the sanctuary. All right, let's drop a save once you teleport in. So where'd you go? Sanctuary. It's peaceful here. This may do some well, damage. I'm sorry to see the back of these swamps. <clears throat> All right. What a beautiful day. What a happy day. <laughs> My thanks, friend. I can't remember the last time I've seen a smile like that. If there's anything we can do for you, you have only to ask. Yes, of course, of course. She extends her arms, reaching towards you with a look of total concentration on her eyes. That's Gareth. You Whoa. come at last. Yay. She just I've broke no your chain? Find your way for to everybody, us. right? Not after witnessing your bravery. Not fun. Well, maybe I you need you to talk to her then. I'll tell you what I can. I'm talking to Gareth. You have spoken to a god? You have spoken to a god? Gareth stares intently, not so much at you as through you. Yes, I see something there, but it's not for me to say. I must get you to Malady. She will know. She was imprisoned on the Lady Vengeance, one of the few of us not left to rot on the sand and sun. All the more vital we take the ship from the Magisters. God welcome. God welcome. Um... We just landed on shore. Minutes later, Dallas sailed in on the Lady Vengeance, screaming like a banshee. We had no hope. Most of us were dead in the blink of an eye. She had horrors at her side. Shriekers, they call them. They still protect the harbor, firing pure death at anything that catches their eyes. The Lady Vengeance is still anchored there, too. Lucian, save us from whatever plot Dallas is concocting on it. Well, I had a plan. Gratiana told me of weapons that could counter these shriekers. Purging ones that steal source from its host. I went to that armory looking for one of these wands, but Alexander's bootlickers stumbled in first. I found nothing but dust. We've got to find a way to silence those shriekers. If we do that, the Lady Vengeance is ours. Freedom is ours. Good luck. <laughs> I can't imagine anyone more capable. Lucian truly shines his light on you. See Gratiana. She knows every songbird and blade of grass on this isle. I'd go myself, but she seems, shall we say, dissatisfied with my recent failure. The Lady Vengeance waits offshore, ready to sail for a righteous cause. Find a purging wand. Alexander. Alexander's shriekers will rot. Um, I'm curious we'll if there's the more than one wand or not, because be yeah, we gave the purging wand to the dragon. So. Yeah, I had the option to say we go now, we wand or no wand. Yeah, I'm sure we um, can come back and say that if we want to. He says speak to Gratiana, but that's this dead chick. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. Like, I think our game bugged out. It's good to see <laughs> she ended up. I don't know how she ended up dead when we got here. Yeah, she was like just. That's pretty lame. Yeah, I really don't know why she was dead when we got here. Can you? uh... You didn't lose your head. Well done, my lad. Resurrect her? Yes. I doubt it. No. Thank you, sir. Freak. Uh. <laughs> yeah, our game broke. That's weird. Garrison will know what to do. He'll take care of us. Okay, I gotta talk to this. Who broke your chain? The dwarf. Um, I was just googling this real fast. Apparently, again, we. Destroyed her soul jar in one of those dungeons. I guess there was a soul jar for her, and <laughs> that's why she's dead. 
And uh, they say it's completable without her. <laughs> well, every, yeah, that's, that's one thing nice about this game. Uh, it, it's dreadful for the QA testers, but you could essentially do whatever you want, kill whoever you want, and still somehow make it through the main quest, which is pretty crazy. Most games, it's like, you know, you broke broke the main quest. That happens, right? Um, but there's always a workaround in this game. So that makes so much sense. So for anyone watching, do not break the soul jars, at least not the Gratianas. Yeah. <laughs> what did we get from breaking those? Um, it was pointless, wasn't it? We were freeing uh, I think souls. Most of them except for, yeah, except for, you know, the final guy. Yes. Um, extends. You feel the no I don't, I forgot his name. Divine blessing. I'm curious to uh, see here. Is, is Dugan a vendor? Told you a lot. The sun shines brighter now that no. Gareth is returned. Soon enough. The young Extra. man has abandoned the maps and now prepares his armor with happy urgency. He sees you approach. There's no tier three spells we available. Saved uh, I saved when we got in here. Why are we about to do something? I was gonna pickpocket him a little. Uh, I would wait. I so we some, we still don't have tier three skill books, but I guess we could do a full pickpocket run. Probably be best to like save the game and just rob everybody here. And <laughs> but in order to do that, we have to put all our stolen now goods in a bag. Garrett. So I don't know if we're like still holding a lot of stolen goods. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we are at this point, but... It's going to take a little work. Um, I still have some stolen goods. I'm going to have to look through it all. But, yeah, we could do some major pickpocketing here. But, uh, so without her, I don't think there's any extra wands. We gave it to the dragon. I think we just pretty much have to go headstrong into the, into the fort and just see... And hopefully the Seekers don't mess us up. Yeah. Well, the dragon did say he'd be there if we needed him kind of thing, so maybe he shows up. Yeah, that would be the alternate thing. Yeah. Um, that's interesting. Okay, so why don't we save here, gear up from everybody, steal everything, get everything we need, and then we'll go fight the last, uh, encounter and sail off into Act 2! Mm-hmm. Sound good? Yeah. All right, everybody, we're going to end this episode here then. And uh, in the next episode, we're going to have a whole bunch more gear and goodies and empty our bags out as much as we can. And then we'll be going into the last encounter to fight the final boss and then moving into Act 2. Should be awesome. So we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye now. Soon we'll be done.